chosen nation. What it do, what it do, what it do, baby. It's a chosen athlete over here. Back at it with another video. Yo, you guys might be wondering, what's this background? Yo, I'm at a new gym right now, you know what I'm saying? We're about to get a chest and shoulders workout. Yo, these last few days, we've really been focused on um, developing the chest. Yo, and the progress has been insane. But yo, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to you watching it right now from the bottom of my heart thank you for all the love all the support couple of days ago we hit 1k subscribers <laughs> 1k subscribers special shout out to someone this person really helped me when it came to video ideas thumbnail shorts strategy everything i couldn't have done it your cast 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 as much work as i put in i gotta give credit where it's due if it wasn't for her we wouldn't have hit 1k subscribers this soon so special shout out to her with the video ideas the thumbnail the editing the strategizing the marketing everything special shout out to you thank you I'm still processing it a thousand bro like you know like I'm posting all my videos on my shorts like people are watching the videos and then they click on my channel they're like yo I F with this guy so I'm gonna subscribe to him a thousand people have done that <sighs> but I just want to say I appreciate every single one of you guys for all the love all the support all the comment all the likes all the shares <sighs> I just want to say thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God is good, God is good, God is good. Um, Today we're about to hit a chest and shoulders workout and it's about to be fire. I'm pumped up, I'm amped up. No pre-workout though, we got a good night's sleep. Fixing my sleeping schedule because that's been my, my downfall to be honest. But yeah, let's get on with it. We're about to stretch and let's go. So we're gonna warm up with some pull-ups. We're gonna do two sets. The first set is gonna be 10 pull-ups and then the second set is gonna be um, until failure. You guys know every time I start my workout, I always start with pull-ups, always, always. Just to get that frame in your back, just to build your back and then you're um, lifting your own body weight. One reason I like to do pull-ups is because when you're starting your, when you're doing chest, right? Let's say you're doing a bench press. Your back is your support. So your back is on the bench. So you wanna activate your back. You wanna make sure your back is warmed up so that when you're on your back, you're able to move fluidly through it. Remember someone say, I'm like, it makes sense. I've never seen anyone says that because your back is your support when you're in a bench press rest, right? So it's better to warm it up. You do the middle finger on my video? Huh? Did you do a middle finger in my video? How dare you? The toes sticking out is crazy. I know. Yo, so we're on the bench press. Yo, lately I've been prioritizing my chest and my bench press. I've been trying to develop that. So that's what we're doing today right now. Yo, can I give you a tip? So when you're approaching your workout, whatever you're doing, whatever muscle group you're trying to grow, at the beginning of your workout, you have the most energy to work that muscle. So right after you finish warming up, so I just finished warming up with the pull-ups. Now I'm right here on the bench to work on my chest because I'm trying to improve my bench press and I'm trying to grow my chest. So that's two and one. So a key thing to take away, whichever muscle group, let's say your legs, your shoulders, your arms, do that exercise first because you have more energy to spend on it and you can go heavier. So that means you can develop it more 
you know, by putting more attention on it, by going to failure, that sort of things. Right now, we're gonna warm up with the bar. We're probably gonna go a 45 and a 35 today. I know it's cause the last few days I've been going heavy. I, my shoulder had time to rest, but I just wanna take it nice and slow. There's no rush. So as you guys can see right there, I just did the bench press. We went up to 225, but yo, that last rep, I had it. Cass helped me, like, I already had it up. I was just struggling, but she helped me, but. See, this is what a spotter shouldn't do. If I have the bar, like, up, I'm struggling, I'm trying, let me struggle. Do not touch the bar, but. It's all good, it's all good. So it's gonna be like a decline chest press. So we're gonna come right here to work on the lower chest because we just finished bench press. So we're gonna come right here and we're gonna come. Oh. 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 So we're gonna do the all the three heads of the chest. So we're gonna do the mid chest, the upper chest, and the lower chest. <sighs> Yo, whew. I'm feeling the workout now. <sighs> Yo, whenever you're trying to grow a muscle group, you have to hit that muscle group with intensity and progressive overload. What progressive overload means is every set, you're increasing the weight. So let's say today, I capped out like 50 pounds. Next week, 52. The week after that, 54. The week after that, 56. So make sure you're always progressing over time. So you wanna train progressive overload if you're trying to train your biceps, your triceps, your chest, your shoulders, your back. Always train progressive overload. Yo, so we just finished with the chest press, lower chest, I feel like, I wanna put more attention on the lower chest, so we're gonna jump straight into dips to work on the lower chest and some triceps also. Three sets of 10, let's go. So we're here on the chest press, the incline chest press to be exact because the seat is on an incline, so working the upper chest. Um, I would have liked to go just a little bit lower to get less shoulder activation, but it can't. So it's all good though. So elbows in. Ooh, we went up to 90. Ooh. Nice and firm, sturdy. Let's go. Gym. It has everything you need, a soccer, turf, um, court, a basketball court, everything you would need. Two basketball court, actually. Yeah, it's an athletic trail that you can do, but you will definitely be back. And next time, I'll give you guys a tour of the gym. But yeah, other than that, I appreciate you. Stay grinding, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.